Hello everyone, welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. My name is Gary. Now what's happened? I started the Start Solution. And in this video, I'm going to be addressing shepherd's pie. I hope you watch this and I think you'll enjoy it quite a bit. Now we're going to move to the kitchen. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. And I'm going to show you the other ingredients. Now get yourself a good size uh, frying pan. This has got silicone on it. And put in your onions and your uh, bell peppers and your garlic. And get all of it out. And then fry it. And you can see it's on high right now. Now I don't use oil. So this is what we're going to do first. Now you want your onions to be translucent as clear as possible without burning. You don't want to brown them too much. So while this gets going, the next thing we're going to do after that is put in the vegetable. Uh. Now the McDougal recipe tells you to watch this for four minutes. What I want you to do is not do that. Use your eyes because every situation, the, the stove tops could be different, the heat could be different. Use your eyes and see if the onions, when the onions get close to be translucent, which really is when they get close to being clear, then add the rest of the remaining uh, ingredients. We're going to be doing this in sections. Right after this is done, we're going to be adding the herbs to it, which is going to be celery salt. It's going to be Herb to Provence, two half te teaspoons, and we're going to put the pepper on much later. So that's what we're waiting for next. So just give me a few minutes and we'll get back to you. I want you to notice that this shepherd's pie isn't minced down, it's huge, gigantic bites. Like what you'd expect after working a really long day maybe at the coal mine or a lumberjack or something like that. You wouldn't want to have these tiny little pieces. And a lot of recipes I've noticed, they just mince it like julienne everything. Well, that's not what I wanted to do out of my shepherd's pie. What I decided to do is have big bites. So we're still waiting for the onions to come together. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Now mix, once your, your herbs are inside, just mix it together. Make sure you have all the flavorings in there. I've lowered the heat from high to number eight, so I didn't want to have anything burn on me. The next step you do is you put in your three and a half cups of broth. Now, the instructions were to start with half a cup, but we're doing it a little bit different. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil, put it on high, Okay, so now that it's finished boiling, we're going to pour it over the top. The next step is to put your vegetables in. This is 16 ounces. Make sure that your vegetables are well coated. This is a real time saver when you have it in a package like this. You don't have to think about cutting each of those vegetables. You don't have to worry about it. You can see that the peppers, the yellow peppers, the carrots, the broccoli are all nice and giant pieces, which is what we want in our, our pie. Next, we're going to be transferring all of this to a, another container. Next, you transfer everything onto this. The reason why we chose this dish is because our casserole dish was just a little too small. Should we get all the onions? Now 
Make sure all your burners are off. Now the fun part. We're going to try to put the potatoes on. Now what I'm doing is I'm using a spatula and I'm just laying it on the top like this. And I'm turning this around so I can put the potato all over. Yes, I'm making a nice mess. Call me the mess master. But this point is you're going to want to add an even layer of potatoes on top of what you have already. We're missing the middle. Take our spatula like this. I'm going to fill in the spaces. Try not to drop too much potatoes all over your countertop. That's basically what you're trying to do right here like this. A nice thick portion of potato on the top which is your starch and a nice portion of, of vegetables on the bottom. Now remember if you use peas, peas is a starch in this diet. So you'd have to use a different vegetable. Corner over here. Corner over here. You just keep on going until you fill up the container. I cover that up. Okay. Very little left in the pan. Okay, now that's done, just smooth off the top. Now most people use paprika, and we're going to do the same thing. Now you got to turn on your oven, and so I, I'm going to do that next. So put it on bake. I'm going to cook it at 350 degrees. I'm going to double check my recipe and find out, yep, 350 degrees. We're going to sprinkle some 100% sweet, delicate Hungarian paprika. This is, was my mother. She brought it from Canada, and it's just a wonderful uh, herb. I just love it. Okay, so there it is. You definitely don't want to put too much, but you want to add a little bit of a flavor to it. The oven's at still at 100 degrees, so... Now you're going to cook this for half an hour. Now I didn't put the pepper in here. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to put it on top. So this is ground pepper. Now this is ready to go into the oven. While this goes in the oven and cooks, I get to have the fun of cleaning the kitchen. Alright, so the oven just turned at 350 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to put in the, the shepherd's pie. Now don't forget to put your, your timer on for 30 minutes.
that doesn't mean you can you just disappear. You're going to have to kind of pay attention. My oven is a very high oven, has a higher temperature oven, so I probably have to check it a lot earlier than 30 minutes, which is a good start. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, the timer just came on. Turn it off. Swing it back to the oven. Make sure you use mitts. Ah, it looks so delicious. It made a nice mess for me in the oven. So next time I think I'll put up something underneath it. No easy thing. But it sure helps when you're six oh, foot three. Gary, you overcooked down there. So turn the go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. I'm on the film, you know. Alright, so next thing you do is you turn off your oven. Where's it doing? No, okay. Take a look at it over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool for 20 minutes. We're gonna come back and I'm, I can show you how to plate it. So the buzzer just rang. We let it cool a full 20 minutes. Now we get to have the fun of eating it. All right, so we're gonna turn this slightly sideways so you can see how I'm gonna do this. Got a little piece here, a little behind. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna eat it. So this is the modified Google Shepherd's Pie that was developed in 2000. Tastes really good. And a lot of potatoes. I think it could have used a lot more vegetables, but I'm really happy with it. And I think you'll be happy with it too. But we look forward to you seeing our next start solution recipe coming soon. And um, Bon appetit. And yes, and enjoy your next and this wonderful meal. We'll see you soon. Bye bye now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mom, you want some? Subscribe to us and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for watching.